Um, mobile games. I want to talk about most specifically what they are currently, what they could have been, and why they are good and or bad. Okay, what they are, um, what they could have been, you said? Yeah, what they could have been. What is, because, so, okay, I, I'll just get into okay. it. I'll get my I, I think pitch. I know what you mean with that. That's very interesting. Um, yeah, it, well, so mobile games, like being able to play a game from your phone is uniquely there's a reason that everyone has a mobile game of some sort on their phone uh -huh. for whatever reason it could be anything from a gotcha game to like an old port of professor layton to an emulator to uh to bejeweled like you know yeah, or what a candy crush or to, whatever uh or chess or or checkers or backgammon like, or crossword, mahjong or whatever crossword puzzles you know um, yeah yeah there's all kinds of stuff that you could do with it. Um, but I do think mobile games are in a specific direction that is not conducive to the platform uh, to put out quality work. Yeah. It's, so they don't. Yeah. It's, I, I feel like there's other examples of this in other uh, forms of media, kind of like what we've been talking about with, you know, movie, the movie industry, and even even to an extent like the video game industry, because this is this is ultimately a video game thing, like a video game problem. I think the mobile yeah. game industry has been bleeding into the AAA industry, um, which is very that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Mobile games, I don't think are they're not they haven't evolved in the way people like the in the way they probably should have uh it very much has evolved into a very much a money first kind of uh how can we manipulate the people into spending money that's like essentially what it's turned into um a lot less fulfilling things have been happening in the mobile industry because i i i don't know if this is on your list but i, I wanted to talk about what mobile games were like back when they were new oh uh, yeah sure go ahead um, cause I don't know what your first experience was with mobile games. I, I, I am in the, uh, unique spot of actually growing up without mobile games and being there when they happened, when I was around, I would say, uh, 10 to 14, um, is when like, you know, the iPod touch came out and iPads came out. And, you know, like mobile games were fresh. They were new. Nobody was making these mobile games for money. Okay. Like there were some people like people will talk about infinity blade or, uh, other mobile games that did have a price, but everybody back then was playing doodle jump. They were playing balloons, tower defense. They were playing, uh, what else? There was like, like the stick figure Angry birds war. Yeah. Angry birds for sure. And there were, there, but all of these uh, apps were, they were made out of like love and passion. Uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I can't speak for all of them, right? But like, you could tell that people made these games because they, they wanted to. It was a cool new thing. It was a cool new medium that was unexplored. People were having fun with it. And then eventually, you know, Clash of Clans uh, and all these other games just started. Oh, like, dude, in, Plants in, versus Zombies. <sighs> I mean, dude, Plants vs. Zombies was great. Uh, it, you know, and then if you look at Plants vs. Zombies 2, it kind of shows you what, what happened. I remember I played Plants vs. Zombies 2 for a little bit, and that game is very much, you got to pay to play. You got to pay to win. If you want these guys, you got to pay for them, you know, and it just so many microtransactions because it just became so accessible and, like, all these kids were using them, and, oh, I accidentally spent, like, hundreds of dollars on my mom's credit card. You know, it's it's just crazy, dude. Uh but back then, game, mobile games were so different back then. Um, I am interested in like maybe what your first experience was playing mobile games. Sure. Um, well, I think mine has to be Angry Birds was kind of the... I, I didn't really grow up with any kinds of devices that could play mobile games. I mostly stuck to handheld consoles like the right. 3DS and the Game Boy and stuff. 
Um, so that's where a lot of my mobile gaming experience came from until I did discover I got my first smartphone, I think, when I was 17, maybe 18. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's about that's... the same time I got mine, but I had an iPod Touch uh, up until then. Okay. But it was a game changer when I finally had a phone that could play those games as well. Um, and I'll get more into that, uh, but I, I want you to continue. Well, so I, um, uh, my thought, where'd it go? I can't find it. You, you were talking about you were playing portable games on like ah portable. yes 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 but then you you didn't get your smartphone until you were seventeen yeah yeah so um, once I did then I kind of downloaded Flappy Bird and and Angry Birds <laughs> just to yeah just to get the experience because I didn't I I just didn't get to be a part of the that community for a long time. Yes. And then I found a couple of other ones for me that were really cool. Um, like the day the sky got wings or something like that. It's a visual novel. Oh, um, interesting. The the day my heart grew wings, I think. It, it's a visual novel. It's still available. I, I should finish it. I sounds, never did. It sounds really but, cool. But then there was a game called Demo. Demo was my first like mobile game experience. It was kind of a Guitar Hero esque thing mm. where, like, you have a sequence of notes that, like, scroll at you during the song, and you have to, you would have to tap the screen uh, at the same kind, of, it, like Guitar Hero, basically. Yeah. But it was a very stylized, um, kind of dystopian fantasy, slight horror, kind of like Coraline. But if it were oh, an anime and not that's that's a not crazy, a claymation style thing. That's a crazy description. So what, like, don't starve? Yeah, if, <laughs> uh, kinda, yeah, but a little bit more anime y. Okay, more anime. Um, I'll show you pictures of it. Um, so like Tokyo. Ghoul. I love to demote. <laughs> oh man, how do I explain this properly? <laughs> I don't know if there is a uh, very very Kingdom kind of Hearts esque Kingdom Hearts esque oh, big, big Kingdom Hearts stuff like Kingdom Hearts in the Nightmare Before Christmas world. Here, I'm sending you a picture of okay. Demo so you can see it. On I sent it to you. I I wonder if there's a chance I know this game, but it, it's a note playing game, except for all the songs. Oh. It wasn't like guitar stuff. It was like piano and then somehow at some point you're playing someone's voice and there's oh. there's this underlying story with it of like the more songs you play the more rooms you unlock and you click on the different rooms and it gives you different Whoa. character dialogues to learn better what was happening bro this looks sick very cool very cool very beautiful game um and it was the the big thing about it well, i guess it did have ads already but like for the most part, it was free. Um, other than you occasionally, you could you could earn new songs. You you didn't have to this is buy really new cool. songs. I, Eventually, they did I'm, convert over. I'm sure that other people know about this game. Um, it just looks like a game that has like a cult following. Um, sure, yeah. Um, I loved it, but that's and that was that was kind of my experience. But then, you know, I went to Hawaii for two years. And the climate of video gaming, I feel like the climate of video gaming entirely shifted over those two years. <laughs> like video games were kind of on a fundamental shift. But then when I came home, video games were a completely different thing. Well, that I just mean... w was absolutely nothing similar to what I thought of beforehand. That was so in perspective, like Breath of the Wild was released when I was yeah. on my mission. And I had no idea what... I had absolutely no idea what it was. All I knew was that, oh, a new Zelda game came out. Okay, so Skyward Sword, I guess. That's kind of cool. And then I played it for the first time. I'm like, what the freak? I, this yes. is completely different than anything I ever right. imagined. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, things... And, like, Evan Overwatch Pumpkins. lived out its entire lifespan there. Um, the entire Bayonetta craze Did through you... Smash happened over the course of those yeah. two years. Were you around when Fortnite was new? 
Or was that while you were in Hawaii? So Fortnite was pretty much brand new ish. It, it had been around for a couple months when I came home. Um, I played it with my brother. We played two matches and I determined that I hated it and we never <laughs> played it again. So. Cause I, it's just so crazy to me how these, how, how things evolve. Cause you know, if you look at, you know, gaming, I feel like if your game was a massive multiplayer game, it had to be a battle Royale or it had to be a shooter. And if it was a single player game, it needed to be, uh, if it was a single player game, An open it, it, world. it needed to be open world. Yeah. Um, it's just weird how that's where things have been going with mobile games. It kind of felt that way where once the gotcha game format or the, uh, candy crush format got solidified, it's like games can either be, you can, you can either be a, a, a short burst puzzle game. You can be an idle game. You can be a gotcha game, uh, like RPG gotcha. Uh, I think that's the typical, mm -hmm. or you can actually be like an actual game, but that's like the niche one. Um, but the other threes are the ones that like every game turned into. So, and they would incorporate pieces from all three, right? So it's like, oh, there's idle mechanics in this game, but it also has gotcha mechanics and it also has RPG mechanics. Um, and it's just, it's just weird, man. It's just weird because it makes sense that the phone turned into that because the phone is, it's something you check periodically throughout the day. Most, most people I would say don't play games on their phone for longer than like 10 to 30 minutes at a time. Um, if I want a well, full game experience, yeah, I go and I play on my PlayStation or my Xbox or my computer, right? That that's like, but the phone is something where it's like, I am at the DMV and I'm waiting next in line. I'm going to play a game on my phone or I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up from school. I'm going to play on my phone until she gets here. Um, that's kind of like the, I think where it fulfilled that spot. Um, but yeah, well, yeah. What, what, are, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Well, so it's, it's, as you bring that up, I end up thinking, sure, but I'm still so sad of, as to what it's become because I feel like mobile gamers are, because you can be a mobile gamer and, and your primary experience with games is through a phone, a smartphone or mobile device, I guess. Um, and there's just such trash. It's all just <laughs> trash. It's a similar concept to me of like, okay, saying it's all trash, of course, is a very charged statement. It's uh, most like, of it is. That's like a... Most of it most is. Most of it is. But, and if it's not, it's probably an emulation of an old game, right? I just wish that we, for one, I wish microtransactions weren't a thing. I, I hate microtransactions so much. I uh, yeah. I think microtransactions killed the mobile game a little bit. Uh, I um, mean, th that okay. which it, we can get into that in a second. But oof, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm going to leave you hanging on that. I know for a it's, second. It's just such a it's a, such a loaded topic. Um, which yeah, I, I'm not yeah. entirely certain on where I stand with it. I'll be honest. Which is, I think, well, that's surprising. I to guess me. I just think that is the community that is because you play a PlayStation or an Xbox to get an Xbox or a PlayStation experience, right? You play PC for similar reasons, but you play the Nintendo Switch because you want a Nintendo Switch experience. That's why you would play a, a 3DS game and it was so different than a game you could play on the Wii. Ah, uh, okay. You know, because I. Pfft. But so my yeah. question, I I am curious, is this really the prime experience for mobile games? No. Or because to me, Ab I think it's very not. similar to things like TikTok or YouTube Shorts. I understand why they're there, but I actually the thought to me that TikTok is basically like voluntarily watching glorified commercials or like ads. That's basically all you're doing is you're just watching ads. I, voluntarily listen they're just I, eight seconds long and kind of flashing um, i can i can get that but it's tiktok's a whole other thing okay i don't i don't want to sure yes I, we, I we can get right into now. that entirely at another time uh, i think tiktok what is, i'm saying it's is got, it's got a lot going on um what i'm saying here is 
this is a similar instance of the community that does play mobile games is really suffering a lot from not good games from from horribly terrible games that exist only because they have at least 300 different ways to spend five bucks you know for for like 70 different currencies and all these currencies you have to gain by playing it you it's that free to play problem i guess for a lot well, of the gotcha games I, is what i have experience with well and that's what most people are going to do and, because they don't have money to spend on it you know and then little the like the finally they they you know it, it they finally they get to the point where they're like okay i'm gonna spend some money on this um and i'm guilty of right. that as well um I feel like I'm, I'm definitely sure, me too. I, I feel like I have a lot of self-control when it comes to spending money, but I know people in my life and I know like it's very common for people to kind of struggle with that. Right. Like if I have money in my bank account, like it's very, it's some people have a really hard time not just spending it, you know, and then they like regret it later, you know, and it's not even on mobile games, but on anything. So having that temptation in your pocket at all times, it's it's rough you know like it definitely feels disingenuous like uh i i i i don't even know where to start with this right like uh so you were asking is this open the floodgates <laughs> is this the peak of mobile gaming experience because i like what you said about that whole thing where back in the day because i th this is where things get interesting for me back in the day Every single console had a unique experience. PlayStation 1 at, versus N64 versus DS versus the original Xbox. They all had very different feels, different vibes. You could kind of tell what the system was just by looking at the screen, looking at just a moment of gameplay. You could tell what it was from. But we've reached an era now because you said you play Xbox and PlayStation and Switch for Xbox, PlayStation and Switch. I'll tell you right now, that is not what I do these days. I play like I play the consoles these days for the controller, the convenience or for the exclusives. I don't play them for the feel that uh, that, that system offers, right? I'm not playing my PS5 oh, because I like the PS5 experience. I'm playing the PS5 because Spider-Man is only on the PS5. So I'm going to play it on PS5. Um you know, I'm playing Mario Odyssey on my Switch because it's only on my Switch and Smash and all that, right? I am playing this game on my Switch because I'm on a trip and I want to play it portably. But like some people might play Doom Eternal on their Switch, not because they want the Switch experience, but because it's portable, right? Like it's, we've reached a stage where games are coming out on everything. Um, so you kind of just get to pick your favorite, uh, your favorite controller or your favorite, you know, like, you know, like it, it's coming down to the little, the little things I feel like these days, like you can get most games on PC these days. Um, so right. uh, I feel like that has kind of gone even away. Mobile games are getting PC ports. Yeah. Which is crazy. Like Genshin impact being cross platform through mobile. Like, and I know that like Honkai star rail and all that stuff, that's it's, it's continuing that. But like, um, that was crazy to me that like, I could have this gotcha game on my phone that feels like this, crazy mobile experience like i was like this is an insane mobile experience but then i can also play on my, on my pc i thought that was like yeah it, that it was insane tried I, my phone i tried genshin impact on my phone and it, it got too hot that i had to stop playing because it actually hurt my hands to yeah my yeah which well, my hands know, on my phone uh if you have like the top of the line phones like uh it shouldn't struggle because my, my phone was also like struggling with it because I, I haven't upgraded my phone in like over five years so it's like uh, but that that was crazy. It's crazy that uh, we're at the point where mobile games and PC games can kind of be connected like that, and it, we're losing that whole that the the uniqueness of it. Because back when I would play Tiny Wings on um, my friend's iPhone, and back when I would play certain mobile games, I'm I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head, uh, but it really felt like a mobile experience. Like, dude, Jetpack Joyride is one of the best mobile games ever made. Um, cause it was made to be a game. It wasn't made to persuade anybody to buy anything. It wasn't trying like, and it was, it fed into the fact that it was on the phone. Um, and I think you're right where like people aren't making phone games that 
can only be on the phone. They're making games that are like easily accessible that people will spend money on. Like that's kind of people's goals these days is to like, let's coax this person because it's so easy. You just, all you have to do is tap twice and it's downloaded. And then you tap it a third time and you're playing. And then all you're just, right. two, you're two taps away from spending money. Right. And like, that's what they want. They want it to be super easy, as easy as possible for you to spend money on it. And it just sucks. Cause like, we're no longer getting that, that thought of like, let's make a game that, is actually heightened by being on the phone. Like the experience of this game is actually meant to be on the phone and not on the console. You know, like what, what are we gaining right. from it being on the phone? I, I feel like that's a question uh -huh. people need to be asking. Well, so uh, I do think another point, kind of the last point I wanted to cover, at least for the amount of time that we have, is um, the cost of mobile games. I wouldn't mind paying for a mobile game if it were quality and or worth the cost. But a free to play game that requires me to I find it so interesting that like if you if you think about it, some games charge something like seventy dollars to get thirty tries, thirty tries to maybe get the one character that you want in in a gotcha game, right? Dude, yeah. See gotcha games are something we should talk about in the future. So I have a lot of, uh, it, it's very, they're very interesting to me because I some latent feelings that are coming to the surface. Yeah. I, I like gambling. Okay. And that sounds weird. I'm, I'm not one to gamble like real money. Uh, I'm feel like if I did, it would be a very, like, I, I again, I feel like I'm pretty smart when it comes to like spending money and all that stuff. But I, I like, I like the whole randomness of it, but when you feed into that with real money and you manipulate people into being like, 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 and, and it, again, it's a lot like casinos where they're rigged, where like a lot of these character polls are not in your favor, or sometimes the odds are like super skewed, or maybe the, the person you want isn't actually on there, even though they say they are or whatever. Right. It's in like, especially when it comes to like things like Marvel and anime and all these things, like they really get people. <laughs> where they're uh vulnerable it's like oh i know you like this guy we just added him to this game and you're like oh snap i really want him and then you end up you know dumping how many hours and then once because you've put so many hours in you're like oh i've put in so many hours so five bucks wouldn't be that bad you know and that's how they get you man sure yeah well so it's just something to think about like you spend 70 bucks to get 30 chances on this one character for this one game when you could spend that same seventy dollars to get Elden Ring, yeah, or you or, could spend or ten, something you could like spend ten dollars on Terraria. Okay, you could spend ten dollars on Undertale. You could spend twenty dollars on a lot of games, dude. Stardew Valley. <laughs> you want to dump hours into a game? Put it in that one, please. All right. We need to save these people. So. <laughs> I think on, Stardew Valley, one of the, on, the, on the phone. It's on the phone. Just get Stardew Valley. Don't play gotcha games. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. interesting. I, I'm loving this talk. Maybe we'll have to have a part two of this because because we're running out of time. Our, our train's coming up. Because um, honestly, because honestly, train, there, there's there's triple A games that are coming out these days that aren't worth seventy bucks. So it's like, yeah, I think Elden Ring is worth it. I think Elden Ring's worth it. But uh, man, it's the the gaming industry. It's so before before we end here, I did want to ask. Uh, oh sure. Just just to just to end here, uh, tell me your favorite mobile game you've ever played, and then the mobile game that you are into right now. Okay. Uh, I can do that really quick because I mostly already did it. Uh, favorite game, mobile game I've ever played. Demo. I loved Demo. I loved wow, the story. Okay. It had me crying at the end of it. Like I, I cried at some part of it because it was like a beautiful ending. It's interesting wow. too because there's no text in that, or there is text in that game, but there's no voices. Every piece of the story is told only through music, and I think that's just a really beautiful way to do it. Beautiful game. Yeah, loved that, it. I got a play game. I'm currently playing. Yeah, well, it's free. I guess you have to pay three dollars to get rid. of of ads which is a whole nother topic on its own i think that's absolutely stupid um but 
actually let me write that down as a later topic that we need to talk about is Dude, yes. um, Dude, gotcha ad games? services oh okay <sighs> or, oh and gotcha <laughs> games um ad services and gotcha games that we gotta talk about Dude, um, the in-betweens are but... getting lit yeah okay so that's the that's game i've enjoyed the most i would say it's my favorite mobile game the, okay. the best one that i i've had the most memorable experiences with that i just enjoyed start to finish you know thought it was well made thought there was a lot of heart and soul put into it um the one i'm currently playing now is marvel snap um i love marvel snap who degree <laughs> I, it has a lot of flaws, and it has a lot of gotcha, and a lot, a lot, a lot of microtransactions. Dang. In fact, when I started, the game came out in October 2022, and that's when I started playing. And man, there was like six transactions mm -hmm. that you could make at all, monetarily-wise. That's wow. it. It was like maybe six. Yeah. Now, there's there's like... And I get new deals every single day. They're like, this is a deal for you. This is what you need to complete your collection. We, uh, we looked at your card collection and think that you want this card. Are they right? Because you've been playing this card a lot. Like, <laughs> Are they no. right, though? No, they're never right. Oh, okay. They're absolutely never right. That'd be kind of creepy if it's um, like, that is the guy I want. How do they know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, so I, there are things I enjoy about the game, but it is a PvP experience, and I oh, I need to talk about those as well, um, because oh, PvP is a monster on its own that I think we need we I have a lot to say about it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, to answer <laughs> your question, Demo, my favorite one, Marvel Snap, I've been playing. Awesome, yeah, I. Uh... I think I knew the Marvel Snap. I, I I had a feeling that would be your your answer for the current one. Um, for me, oh, and Pokemon Go because me and Sally go to the gym now. So, oh, like, dude, Pokemon like, Go is Pokemon. I feed my Pokemon and I, I get a lot of steps in because I'm I, the gym. I forget about Pokemon Go. I'll be honest, but what a what a game! It's probably it may be the most impactful mobile game of all time. So we can talk about that later too. I um, think you're right. My I mean, Angry Birds is up there. Okay, so for my answers, uh, my my favorite of all time, I'm going to give it to a very obscure mobile game that I don't think is available anymore, so I miss it. And I'm going to I'm gonna send you a picture of it in the chat here. Um, it's called Solomon's Keep, and it was only available on iOS, so I got it on my iTouch, too. Um, man, that, that name has not aged well for... That uh, that uh, indeed the whatever you, whatever you call it, it's a music player. Um, but yeah, I remember I <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing Solomon's Keep, and this was before I played Diablo at all. Um, but it was kind of my first game that was like a dungeon crawler, like this. That was medieval. You play as this mage, and it's very much like Diablo, where you go deeper and deeper into the dungeon until you get to the end yeah i don't remember how many floors it was it was like a hundred or something you can see in the picture i sent he's on floor three uh but it was you would upgrade your guy you would level up you'd go back to town you'd buy things with the money you got uh it was very cool and i loved it because it was one of the first mobile experiences i played that was like a full game uh and it was very unique it was very unique to it it was not available on anything else it felt very much like a mobile game um, you know, you would, you would, uh, your left thumb would be moving you around and your, your right thumb would be like shooting, uh, kind of like a dual stick setup. It was a very good game and I miss it cause I can't get it anymore. Uh, I really wish I could play it still, but it's not, it's not even available on iOS anymore. I don't think so that game's kind of lost, oh, lost in history I'm sure there's ways to maybe emulate it, but, um, I do miss that game. And then the game I'm currently into is One Piece Treasure Cruise, which is a gotcha game for One Piece because I am a big One Piece fan. Uh, during the pandemic, I got into Treasure Cruise and, well, actually, no. I got into it before the pandemic, like probably 2018, maybe, 2019. And uh, the pandemic kind of like, I got super into it. Like, um, 
And it's at, I'm at the point in the game where I don't really have a drive to play it anymore, but like I've built my account up so much uh, that <laughs> I, I like to a lot keep, of diminishing returns. I like to keep tabs on it. And, you know, because the the game, one thing that's cool about the game uh, is that it's it's current with the anime. So whatever's new in the anime, the the game gets those things. So uh, it's you know, uh, new characters or whatever, whatever's going on in the show. I'm always excited to see what gets put into the game because the game is very much, uh, you get these cool, unique artworks for the characters and you get these cool, like little chibi sprites of them when you're playing as them that are completely unique to the game. So it's, it's one piece content that is only experienced in this app. It's not recycled content from the show. Um, and so it's really cool to see my favorite moments and favorite characters in a new way. Uh, so that is one thing that keeps me coming back is whenever there's like a new character out, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta see this. Um, but you know, I, I've put so many years into this game and I have spent money on it, but I, you know, it's my, it's one of my favorite IPs, but again, it, it goes back to what we were saying where it's like, was it worth it? I don't know. Uh, did they, did they get me kind of, you know, I, uh, I'm not immune to everything. They get me. <laughs> They they got me, bro. Got <laughs> they got me. But you know, I uh, I'm not someone to spend all of my uh, income on it or anything. Um, I'm definitely very like sparing with it, and I, I I don't think I'll spend money on it ever again. Because back when I was like playing every day and like I was like super into it, it made sense. But nowadays, it's kind of like I'm just a free to play player that hops on, gets my gems, uh, and then whenever something cool shows up, I try and get it which I've been actually pretty lucky. I'll be honest. I've been getting a lot of the people I want. So I'm like, does the game know? Uh, it's, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how it's it works. Trying that, to get you back in. The algorithms are crazy. I don't know how they work. I don't know what their, their deal is, but, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's my, those are my two mobile games at the moment. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. I mean, one was not yeah, at the moment. Uh, one was a long time ago. And ones now. Sure. I'm interested to hear what any of our listeners' thoughts are. Um, yeah, what's you, your first mobile you have, game? Uh, yeah, first mobile game, favorite mobile game. Is well, it, how uh, do you think the industry is right now? What's it called? Uh, uh, I forget. It's the. It's an idle game. I have it on the brain, but I can't remember. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to say probably clash of clans or flappy bird or angry birds a lot of birds um bird, there's so many birds i think it was because of angry birds that there are so many birds there's also well tiny wings was before i think tiny wings may be the first bird mobile game started it all um but... well i digress we, we gotta get to our next train um so stay tuned for our next story dive uh, it comes out every Friday. Every Friday. In betweens come out on Tuesdays. We'll see you guys around. Okay, bye. <laughs>